Hey everybody, this is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content and have not already, a special thanks to the 162 at have. Please consider subscribing to the channel up above at the widget at the end or down below at the subscribe button. <sighs> well, this game yet again. Flyers terrible closeout. We're in the game for a good part of it. In the final nine minutes, laid a complete goose egg and did absolutely nothing um, when it comes to this game. And that is exactly why they lost. Um, Jim Jackson pretty much said it perfectly before I muted the TV to do this video. The goaltenders are still making the saves. It's just now they're letting in more goals because the defense is making more mistakes and hanging them out to dry more. They're facing a lot more high-octane chances where at least in certain game, like the game against the Panthers, you get let them face a lot of shots. But for the most part, like guys talked about, they kept it to the outside a little bit more. In this game, you let the devil get a lot of high octane chances and on the one play you let a fourth liner um in McLeod uh beat you big time who's a good fourth liner don't get me wrong but he's not a guy that should be able to beat both of our defensemen into the zone and then be able to have a great setup play that gets it to Hamilton that then gets it to Nathan Bastion there who the Devils just recently reclaimed that was basically the just seal it end it all and the all hope of our um goal there but in this game I mean, we started off, obviously, the Flyers did not start off um, how you would like, as they let Dougie Hamilton, after he hit the post and we thought it went in, be able to get just right up in front. Nobody picked him up. They just let him wander in front there to get an assist from Johnson, who was a Flyers killer. Had four points tonight as he sealed it with the empty netter and has been a Flyers killer who scored a hat trick against us with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He's just destroyed the Flyers. When we played him, it happened again tonight. There was no answers for him. There was no answer for Dougie Hamilton as he just slid in front of the net. But then Watch had a great move as P.K. Subban was on his back, outskating him. Watch continues to prove that and also a guy that should be used more on the power play and in other facets of the game if he stays this hot as well, I personally believe, but proves this proves the point that you sh can't give up on prospects too quickly, especially ones that have the tag of they need to improve their skating because they need a little bit more time. And look how good Scott Law and Vincent's improving his skating. P.K. Subban's a pretty darn good skater. That was one of the only good plays of the night, though, for the Flyers. As, of course, the other one was fortunate puck luck, which the Flyers haven't got enough lately of which they were able to get for the Faraby goal, as Lawton was able to then have an assist, who played a hell of a game again. Joel Faraby and Lawton were the two best players of this game, and then Zach McEwen had a great, fantastic um, fight that was an absolute joy to watch between um, him and Mason uh, Gersten, who's 6'4", 227, McEwen 6'3", 205. That was like an old-school hockey fight, but beyond that, everything um, in a game that the Flyers were in until the end, just sucked in the end, because you can't close out, you had a terrible closeout, you were able to get a goal to even it up, and then after that, played pretty poorly, um, in order to try to get, get it going, and then you allow Jesper Bratt to just wander in, as that was Johnson on the um, assist again, but just wander in and be able to score pretty much on a mini breakaway there, on Martin Jones, I mean, you have to have better defense than that. The Flyers' defense was very lapsed in this game. Martin Jones made the saves he was able to make, but you have high percentage scoring chances on that Jesper Brack goal. You have a high percentage scoring chance that nobody, not many goalies are saving the um, Hamilton goal. And then the first Johnson goal, he picked his spot very nicely. And then the other, of course, was an empty netter. But first one, he picked his spot very nicely. And the other was tic-tac-toe with Nathan Bastion. So he has no chance to save these four goals that go in. This was a very poorly played defensive game. I've been team Risto all along, but he really did not have a good game. This was his worst game of the season as far as I'm concerned, especially when he didn't get the puck out. He was the guy that led to the turnover for the Janssen goal. So he did not have a good game. Um, Sealer was a guy that was throwing his body around out there. So I did like what we saw from him, particularly on that one PK, he was really sacrificing himself well out there. He's filling the role he's supposed to fill. He's just getting overplayed early because of the injuries we have. Not a thing that he expected to be in this many games this early. Fairby, um, obviously, was able to get a goal. And then Atkinson had a couple um, shots where he was firing away at a little bit more of a shoot-first mentality. But this isn't a game that there's that much to be positive about because, again, this systematically we were just kind of too much along the boards at certain times. Our zone entries or our zone exits were also not effective enough in this game for too much of the game. And then we were able to battle to stay in it just by 
grinding our way through and getting a fortunate puck luck play off the ref, and then still just kind of clapped, even though you had the momentum and had a very good shift before you collapsed, and then all of a sudden just clapped after Jesper Bratt scores. Um, once you actually were coming off of a good shift before the Flyers line change, and then Bratt were able to score. So, I mean, this was a game, it, it really just proved that this team, once something kind of comes, they haven't been able to yet this year be able to get the offense enough beyond the two goal, the three goal threshold max to be able to really answer at all. And once you get that team to three goals, it's like, oh God, what are we going to... So like it's, the Flyers need to find a way to systematically have the zone exits and zone entries a lot better because this system in terms of driving the offense is not working. And tonight, the, it's the first time it really showed other than the Tampa game in a gigantic glaring hole. But the defense really made bad miscues. And that's what led to them getting a lot of these goals, turnovers and bad defensive miscues, bad zone exits, you name it. This was just not a good game um, overall with the very bad closeout that the Flyers were fortunate because of puck luck off the ref to even be in it um, at the 2-2 score. And it was a difference of just poor defensive play and poor execution by the defense to be able to lose this game where there wasn't anything Jones could do on the goals. And the Flyers are obviously do have a game that's postponed against the Islanders due to their COVID-19 protocol postponing the, the game involving the New York Islanders. But they'd play the other New York team, the Rangers, on Wednesday, who are one of the hotter teams in our division at 13-4-3. and three. So that ain't going to be easy. They're third in the division with 29 points. Flyers keep playing like this. This is going to turn from a six-game losing skid into a seven-game losing skid. So they really need to shape up and wise up on offense and get the power play going as well because when you're not going on the power play, it's a confidence thing. It can trickle down. And when you're not going on five on five, it can trickle into the power play. So if you really get the special teams going, that's why years we had Braden Shen, we had Hartsey. We had the special teams going when the five on five wasn't str was struggling. Sometimes that can get your momentum going to be able to get the 5-on-5 five five going. Well, the Flyers don't have either of that happening, so that's a big bugaboo for them. So they really need to get it moving, get it churning here. And this was just another very poor closeout by the Flyers and a game that they were even fortunate to be in because Jones made some key saves before they really just hung him out to dry there in the end and had a terrible closeout. So this has been a reaction to the Flyers' loss or, of course, very, 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 very bad closeout loss, 5-2 to two to the New Jersey Devils. We have 35 shots total to our 25 shots total. Peace out, everybody. Hopefully, somehow, by a miracle, we can beat the Rangers to end this six-game skid on Wednesday. Have a great, safe, and pleasant week. Until then, as I do that preview for that game on Wednesday, go Flyers. Please get it going.